Hello students, today we are going to study chapter number 6 of English literature which is The Red Shoes which is written by Hans Christian Andersen. Now dear students, what do you get to know about this particular title of the chapter which tells about, what does it tells about? The Red Shoes is the title. Now you must be thinking that this red shoes is of somebody and as red color is something which is mostly not worn by men might be of some lady so dear students if you are thinking so you are just next close to it because these red shoes were of a girl and we are to going to we are going to study about the red shoes and about this young girl and uh, this story moves around this particular red shoes of this girl and uh, before we move into this whole story let's get a brief uh, who Hans Christian Andersen was who was this person who wrote this wonderful lovely story for you the story that you people are about to read who wrote this wonderful story? Let's know about this person, Hans Christian Andersen. Now, dear students, before you is the picture of Hans Christian Andersen. And he is the fellow who wrote this particular story. Dear students, now I want to tell you that Hans Christian Andersen was born on 2nd of April, 1805. In Odense, Funen, which is kingdom of the part of the kingdom of Denmark, and uh, it's in Norway. Norway is a country. Students in Europe, students, and uh, he died in 1875 on 4th of August when he was of age 70 in Copenhagen and in Denmark only and he is by occupation he was a writer only and he wrote most of his stuff whatever he wrote was mostly written in the Danish language students as English is a language as Hindi is a language students same way Danish is the language of Denmark and uh, it's the during during the time period when he was born that particular period was called the Danish Golden Age of the Danish literature. And whatever the stuff he wrote was basically related to children's literature and his travelogues. Travelogues, my dear students, means things which are uh, written of different places, memoirs, uh, places uh, where people go or want to go to visit to enjoy the lovely scenery the beautiful green uh, places or the lovely mountains which are which having the snow peaks and all so he wrote many such travelogues and uh, he has written many works out of which uh, there are some notable works over here like The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Match Girl. And below you could see students is the signature of Hans Christian Andersen. Now students, this is the childhood home of uh, Hans Christian Andersen in Odense where he was born and where he spent his childhood. Now, dear students, Han Christian Andersen wrote many fairy tales which consisted of basically of 156 stories across nine different volumes or you can say nine different books. And these different uh, stories were translated into 125 languages and have become today culturally embedded in the West collective consciousness and they read it and uh, it's read 
by a huge number of children around the world. But presenting lessons of virtue and resilience in the face of uh, adversity, of the bad times, for the mature readers as well also. Now, his most of his famous fairy tales, which uh, most of the children would want to read, are The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Mermaid, The Nightingale, The Steadfast Tin Soldier, The Princess and the Pea, The Snow Queen, The Little Match Girl, Thumbelina. Now, my dear students, all these lovely stories and many more, they have inspired ballets. Ballets means students dance, ballet dance. So many people have tried to portray his stories in form of dance and in plays also and in different animated and live action movies too, my dear students. Now students, it's time to study and read the chapter the red shoes. Okay, students, let's uh, study this particular chapter of the red shoes. It begins as such, there was once a little girl who was pretty and uh, who was delicate too. By delicate, we mean students that most of the time she used to remain ill but during the summers, in summers, she was forced to run about with bare feet only, as she was poor. And in the winter time, she used to wear the very large wooden shoes. And obviously, wooden shoes, you know, students, it's not a type of shoe that anyone would like to wear. And she used to wear the wooden shoes and obviously which made her little in steps quite red in steps my dear students it's part of the person's foot between the ankle and the ball that particular area which is the curved area in your foot that particular area is called in steps and Students, this is so dangerous. This looks so dangerous. Now, in the middle of the village where she lived, students, also lived an old dame shoemaker. Dame means an elderly mature woman. So there lived an elderly mature woman who was also a shoemaker and she sat and sewed together as well as she could a little pair of shoes so the work of the shoemaker is to make shoes and this lady also made shoes a little pair of shoes out of old red strips of cloth students the shoe was made of cloth but strips of cloth strips means pieces so the pair of shoes what this old lady made was made of the pieces of cloth they were very clumsy and they lacked grace. Clumsy means which do not look good, do not look beautiful. They lacked grace. But it was still a kind thought actually for a girl who would be walking and running barefoot. It's something better for her. Now they were meant for this little girl. And the name of this little girl was Karen. Now, on the very day, her mother was buried. Now, students, when she got this red shoes, which was made of red strips of cloth, it was the same day when his, her mother died, students, and she was buried. Now, Karen received the red shoes on that moment, on that day, and she wore them for the very first time. And they were certainly not intended for the mourning purpose. They were not made for the sorrowful purpose that it should be worn uh, on someone's death. But she had no others actually 
and uh, with stockingless feet she followed the poor stroke often in them it was something that she had to deal with stroke often means the final problem that would actually lead to an end so she had to wear these uh, shoes and she had to go to bury her mother now when uh, she was burying the mother suddenly and a large old carriage drove up and a large old lady which was sitting inside it came out and she looked at the little girl and she felt compassion for this little girl karen compassion my dear student means a feeling of sympathy a feeling of pity and this old lady said to the clergyman or to the priest or the pastor dear students priest or pastor is in charge of the church like as we have pujaris for the temples and malvis for the mosques same way priest or clergyman or pastor is for the church now here give me the little girl she this old lady said here give me the little girl i will adopt her she said these words to the clergyman she said these words to the pastor and karen believed all this happened on account of the red shoes it was all because of those red shoes it means it looks like as of these red shoes which are actually of cloth strips of cloth prove something beneficial for this girl it seems so but the old lady thought they were horrible and they were burnt but karen herself was cleanly and nicely dressed students now we'll move to the next page to the second page of the chapter and we'll read ahead and it says over here she must learn to read and sew okay she must learn to read and sew sew means to stitch and uh, this girl karen should also learn to read to study and she should also sew and people said that uh, she was really a nice little thing she was really a nice little girl but the looking glass or the mirror students said the what more than nice you are more than beautiful you are just not nice you are rather more than beautiful you are beautiful the what beautiful do means you do is a word of a latin english uh, in the earlier times instead of speaking you in the latin english people spoke do so it's written over here you are more beautiful you are more nice more than nice you are beautiful you are really beautiful this is what the looking glass or the mirror said to this girl karen now karen had new clothes and was to have new shoes also the rich shoemaker in the city took the measure of a little foot this took place at his house in his house and in his room where actually there stood in large places a big number of shoes and in the middle of all those shoes stood a pair of red ones how beautiful they were the shoemaker said also that they were made for a child of a count of a count my dear student means of a particular size but had not been fitted the number of the shoe was not a kind which actually fitted anybody whoever tried it 
for the person either it was big or either it was small but it was not the exact size and uh, the old lady said that must be patent leather when we say patent leather means students it means designs in a wide range of textures it means ki this is really a good piece of shoe with good leather and she said they shine so also it's not just that it's uh, made of leather but they shine so yes they shine karen said and they fitted also right into the uh, feet of karen and were bought for her and the old lady knew nothing about their being red and else she would never have allowed karen to have gone in the red shoes to be confirmed now confirmation uh, the word confirmed over here means it is a religious ceremony of christians in which when children are about to become adults uh, when they are about to become youth they are actually in a position when they can be handed over the different responsibilities related to the church so she was to be confirmed this is a religious ceremony and in the afternoon the old lady heard from everyone that the shoes had been red and she was discussing about it with everyone and she said that it was very wrong of karen that was not at all becoming not at all beautiful for this uh, uh, particular religious ceremony of confirmation students of being confirmed students because uh, this is a religious ceremony where a proper dress code is required for the people who get confirmed they wear like for the boys who get confirmed they have to wear white shirt black trousers and black pants and black shoes either black pants or black trousers and black shoes when we come to the girls so it's considered the white frock or the white gown and the black shoes but here we see that karen had red shoes so this is one of the reasons uh, that this was considered very wrong of karen that she was having this uh, particular red shoes for this particular ceremony and that in future karen should only go in black shoes to church and not in these red ones even when she should be older when she would be going to church she should be knowing that she would be wearing these should not be wearing these uh, uh, red shoes but she should be wearing black shoes students now students the next sunday there was this sacrament or the sacred ritual which is taken after when a person gets confirmed it's a kind of a feast you can say the people who get confirmed take a bread and have a drink also in this right in this ritual and karen looked at the black shoes and looked at the black ones also because she was wearing the red ones and others were wearing the black shoes and looked at back at them again and put on the red shoes and she wore the red shoes now the sun shone gloriously the sun was shining brightly Glor- gloriously students means brightly and karen and the old lady walked along the path through the corn through the corn means uh, through the maize uh, farm you can say and it was rather dusty over there obviously it would be dust because they were passing through the farm and at the church door when they stood over there there stood an old soldier with a crutch students crutch is a long stick used by lame people for support and which is kept under the armpit and 
in Hindi we call it as Baisakhi and with a wonderful long beard which was more red than white and he bowed to the ground and asked the old lady whether he must dust the shoes of this girl Karen as they looked dirty, the shoes were beautiful but there was dust on this lovely new red shoes and Karen stretched out her little foot and see what beautiful dancing shoes were they. This was said by the soldier and sit firm when you dance. And he put on his hand out towards the soles to clean it and then the old lady gave the old soldier some arms. Arms means charity. Arms in arms word students L is silent A L M S arms the word is arms and it means charity and went out into the church with Karen and all the people in the church looked at Karen's red shoes and all the pictures and as Karen knelt down before the altar and raised the cup to her lips to drink and she only thought of the red shoes and they seemed to nicely fit into the feet of Karen and she seemed to swim, it seemed as if the shoes are nicely fit into the feet of Karen and she forgot that she has to sing her psalm. Psalm mean, means students religious song and she forgot to pray also our father in heaven this is the prayer and uh, she forgot to pray this prayer now all the people went out to church when the church was over and the old lady got into the carriage and Karen raised her foot to get in after her she also wanted to get into the coach when the old soldier said look what beautiful dancing shoes so the old soldier said that these shoes are really lovely and it looks that it uh, these shoes are really good for dancing and Karen could not help dancing a step or two and hence she started dancing and she began with her feet continued to dance and it was just as though that the shoes had some power over uh, them over the little girl and she danced round the church corner and she could not leave off the coachman was obliged the coachman was forced to run to Karen and to catch hold of her and he lifted her in the carriage and she and he brought her to to the carriage but her feet continued to dance so that she could walk on her she could trod on the old lady dreadfully students trod on means to walk on the old lady dreadfully terribly at length means after a very long time Karen took off the shoes and then her legs were at peace because she had stopped dancing and uh, the legs were at peace. Now Karen was not dancing. She had stopped dancing and the legs were at peace. And the shoes were placed in a closet in a cupboard where the shoes are kept students. And uh, Karen could not still avoid looking at them because they were really lovely. And it, uh, it was something much closer to the heart of Karen. With this students we come to the end of this particular chapter and thank you.